Hi. Hello, hello, hello. Happy Friday to you. I am sorry that I missed out on yesterday. Um, it was a little bit crazy for me and um, I had tons of things. I forgot half my schedule. So um, yeah, it was a little bit nutso for me. So we made it to Friday. How exciting, right? Yay. Another week. Another week closer to Easter for those of you who are, um, who have given up things for Lent. You're a little bit closer to getting those things back. So, yay, good for you. Awesome. Um, I'm going to wait for some people to get on because it's kind of boring by myself, but, you know, I'll do it if I have to. So, it's a little bit of a weird time of day. Well, for some of you, it's a little bit weird, but for me, it's so early in the morning and um, we are going to take it easy this weekend, actually. Um, well, I say easy, but we only have like one thing planned and Layla's going to stay at a sleepover, so that's easy for us. <laughs> I'm sure we will, um, Steve is itching to get in the pool already, so... I'm sure if he can figure out a way, I'm sure he will be in there uh, probably on Sunday. Uh, it's in the 80s now, so it's pretty nice here. But I did see somewhere in the Midwest that, you know, there were storms and things like that. So please be careful if that is, you know, if you're there. Um, and then also where I'm from in Indiana, it was super cold. So that's kind of weird, um, especially for April. So. Thank goodness for having a mild winter, huh? <laughs> okay, so um, I'm going to go ahead and get started because I feel silly talking to myself, but um, I'm sure someone will pop on, and when you do, please say hello. Um, I can see that someone, well, popped on and then they popped off. So anyways, um, today we're going to talk about one of my favorite oils. Um, it is called bergamot or bergamo, however you say it. I did talk about it a couple days ago. Um, with the arborvita or arborvitae, um, there are different say like tomato, tomato, you know, all of that. So um, I call it bergamot. I call it arborvita. Um, but love is love, and that is what we're going to talk about today with bergamot because bergamot is all about loving yourself, accepting yourself, um, accepting, you know everything and anything in your life um so it bergamot helps to relieve feelings of despair um self-judgment and low self-esteem so if you are depressed or if you have anything you know negative going on um if you are trying to um attract things in your life um and you are in a place of low and like whoa like whoa is me and um bad stuff then you're gonna attract bad stuff. You're going to attract negative people. You're going to attract um, people into um, your situation that, um, like if they're very negative, if you're trying to attract a partner or someone in a relationship, but you are in a low spot and you aren't loving yourself, um, then you're going to attract the same type of people. So my advice to you is today, say I love you, say it with a smile, and do it in the mirror. Um, I've started doing it. I've been um, not not like woe is me, but I've been going through a lot of changes, a lot of spiritual growth and development. And um, I found that maybe I'm the one that is kind of holding myself back. So I've been loving on myself quite a bit. I've been doing a lot of self care, and I've been using bergamot. Like this bottle is almost gone and it'll probably be gone like in a week so um but it helps to this oil helps to provide self-acceptance and self-love so it'll help you to accept yourself it'll help you to um you know love love yourself because if you don't love you then no one else can love you so um it helps to get out the stagnant feelings um, and then those limiting beliefs. So if you believe that you can't be successful, if you believe that you can't have a business, if you believe that you'll never find a partner, um, 
just all those limiting beliefs. Like if you, and oftentimes it comes back to money. Um, if you believe that you can't make money, if you believe that you can only make, you know, $500 a week or whatever, you know, you're currently doing, then that's what you're going to do. So, um, diffusing this, um, I put it on my heart, um, on my heart chakra, um, which is like right here on your chest. Um, that's where I use it. I also use it on like the back of my neck and the sides of my, my neck because then I can smell it and um, it actually is a very amazing, wonderful, citrusy smell. Um, it can, it, if you are in the sun, you have to be careful because it can cause some sun sensitivity. So um, just be mindful of that now that we are coming up on summer and um, we even in the winter here in Arizona, we have to pay attention um, because the sun is pretty strong still. Um, so if you are in like the desert or in a warmer climate um, year round, you have to be careful of citrus oils. So just be mindful of that. If you are using them on your skin, just cover it up. Um, so when you have limiting beliefs of or like stagnant feelings, um, sometimes these can be bad or unlovable um, and not being good enough. And not being good enough is, um, that's a mindset issue and it relates to everything. So if you find yourself like your kids at school aren't doing good and you blame yourself, that's, that's the same thing. Um, they... So these feelings can help you to hide behind, um, like, like you put on a happy face, but really deep down you're not, you're miserable. So, um, oftentimes people that have these limiting beliefs, you know, they, they live in fear because they don't want to, like, they don't want to reveal their true feelings. Um, and their thoughts that are going on. So they put on a happy face, they smile, they say, no, nothing's wrong with me, I'm completely fine, I love life, I love what I'm doing, um, and it's usually very, very fake. Um, so bergamot can actually cleanse and get rid of all these feelings, um, and they can actually turn them into hope and love and confidence and acceptance of yourself. Um, so if you have um, like depression thoughts, um, this is, if you have anxiety, depression, um, just overall like feelings of Ugh, yuck, um, bergamot is really great for that. Um, it can go in your soul and awaken um, your feelings um, to hope and then um, the courage, the courage needed to share um, your inner self or your inner child or, you know, whatever you've got going on inside of you. So um, it allows you to have optimism and confidence and it really allows you to accept yourself um, regardless of any if anyone else does um, which is not necessary um, you are really the only person who needs to accept yourself so if you forget about that don't um, when you find yourself feeling low and like out and outcast um, then don't do that because you are the only one that needs to accept you Um, it also helps with letting go of self-judgment. Um, so, you know, like if you're in the mirror and you're like, oh, well, today I didn't do my lips very good, so one is higher than the other. Hmm. Or, man, my nose is huge. Or, man, I need to be like 10 pounds slimmer. Or, I'm not skinny enough. Or, I'm not muscular enough. Or, all those things that are negative that we tell ourselves that we are not good enough um, we're judging ourselves one and guess what maybe no one will notice that my lips are different today oh well I'm sure they won't um, I know my husband won't <laughs> he surely won't 
So um, if you just let those go and you stop talking negatively to yourself, if you stop thinking negatively to yourself, um, with the power of Bergamot, you can achieve much greater things than when you talk down to yourself, you don't believe in yourself, you don't have the confidence in yourself, you don't love yourself, um, all of those things you can let go of with using bergamot. Um, and it'll help to give you like a little bit of an uplifting feeling. So um, again, if you're feeling despair, if you're feeling low self-esteem, if you have some self-judgment, if you feel unlovable or hopeless or just down on life um, and woe is me, nothing can go right, get some bergamot. And if you need some bergamot, I can send you a sample. Um, probably not from this bottle because I'm going to use it, but um, I can send you a sample of that. I just need, you know, a comment and then we can continue the conversation. So, um, and when you get rid of all those crappy feelings and all that junk, you can have self-acceptance, you can be optimistic, you will have confidence, you'll feel hopeful, you will love yourself, and you'll be good enough. And you'll truly feel it and you'll you will you will love yourself your heart will radiate and you will just have so much joy and you'll be really a different person um, the oils can be very life-changing if you allow them to be and um, this is one that I use on a daily basis I diffuse it I put it on my chest I put it on my neck I put it on the insides of my arms um, it is usually in every single diffuser blend that I make up because, um, we, oftentimes we have people that hop over onto our house just unannounced or Steve will forget to tell me, you know, we're having company. So, um, I don't want to take on, cause I'm an empath, so I feel, um, people's feelings and things. So I don't want to take on their feelings, um, and then I feel crappy. I feel like I'm not good enough. I feel like I can't do anything. I have depression and anxiety and worry and fear and all these not so cool things. Um, so I make sure that always the bergamot is in the diffuser, in the blend, um, and it it's citrusy. So it's really, really great. It's not offensive. Um, and people often like it. So They'll ask me, you know, what are you diffusing? It smells so good in here. What is that? Are you not cooking? Because let's be real, I'm not a good cook. And um, usually when I cook, it's fish or um, chicken. So neither of those smell like citrus. Um, and I don't do baking. Um, not, we don't do a lot of wheat or gluten um in our house so well steve does but he doesn't cook he doesn't bake either so um anyways if you want to share the love and share this video with someone who you think would benefit from it um or if you would like some free samples please let me know leave me a comment down below you're gonna have to watch this replay because um i can't tell if anyone's live or not so have a good Friday. Enjoy your weekend. I love you. Bye.